Okay guys, now that we have played with Nano Mesh, uh, let's play a little more with this. So let's uh, close for now Nano Mesh and let's make some mask to add some holes in our mesh. Now no, I make them pretty random by pressing Ctrl. You can draw your mask. Let's go over here to the neck of you. Let's add some big one on the back. Just random ones for our test purpose. Okay, now let's go to visibility and press hide and mask like this. By pressing Ctrl Shift, we will drag it and hide what we do not need. Let's go to geometry and press to modify topology, press delete hidden. Let's press Ctrl Alt and clear our mask like this. Now let's go back to nano mesh and press nano mesh on. As you can see, our nano mesh is still there. Nice. Next step is to go to subtool, duplicate this one. Let's select the bottom one and let's go to nano mesh again. Uncheck this one and now let's go to Masking, uncheck crease and groups and press max by feature. As you can see our borders got some mask. Now let's grow it one, two, three times. And let's go back to visibility and press hide unmask. Okay, now let's go back to geometry and modify topology, delete hidden. Let's go back to nano mesh and press nano mesh on. As you can see, we have still have our nano mesh, but this time contour our mesh. Let's press it on to see the, the other one. Now we want to make it like it's ripped, ripped off. Just a second to okay. Now let's go to nano mesh and let's play with I know height, maybe length, just a little bit. Mm, but let's go to edit mesh. As you can see, we have our tiling. Uh, cloth mesh. So let's go B for shortcut and we'll press M for move. Let's move topological. Let's press polyframe and let's let's go to display properties and double so we can see the back. And just drag it to make it not that tiling anymore. Like this. Use your imagination. We do not need it. Um, like a tile on perfect tiling anymore because this should be ripped off. So, okay, let's see how this looks. Let's go back to nano mesh and press edit mesh. Okay, now let's go back to our cloth. And as you can see, we have our cloth ripped off. Hope you find this video useful. Uh, I really enjoyed this nano mesh and I'm thinking to try it more often because I really like how 
this uh, this close start looking. Okay, guys. Once again, thank for watching. Hope this tutorial find this useful. Subscribe, like, share it. You know the drill. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye.